viewers welcome to our lecture video in this lecture video we are going to talk about catchment area and we are also going to talk about water set or dry line so to describe catchment area firstly we are going to use the help of this figure so as you can see in this figure we have here some precipitation going on over here and our precipitation is both refers to both rainfall and snowfall now as you can see here as the all the rain water or or the snowfall when it reaches the land surface it gets divided in two portions as you can see it, it might get divided in two or many portions but right now we are talking about two portions as you can see here in this land the some of the rain water is is getting which are denoted by all this red line they are flowing in this direction some of the rainfall are flowing in this direction while some of the rainfall are flowing in other direction as you can clearly see over here in this area as well some of the in this area as well some of the rainfall is flowing in this direction all this rain water are getting deposited in this direction while some of the other rain water are up, are flowing in this direction so right now as you can see here we are not going to talk about the rainfall going in this direction but all those rainfall which are flowing in this direction all in this direction they are getting deposited in this river and we have named this river as river a we have denoted by the river by this blue line and all this uh, and all this rain water which is denoted by red lines are going to get ultimately deposited in this river a so as you can see here we have some of the rainfall some of the precipitate going in uh, going uh, going to the ground they are uh, they are percolating the ground and we uh, percolating the ground which is called as infiltration so we are not going to talk about those water but all the remaining water uh, they are going to uh, uh, surface runoff or they are going to flow over the surface and they are going to get deposited in this river a now, now now let's take a point of this river now we are going to take a point m we are going to name this as station m and for the station m uh, what you can see here, over here is the from this land portion from this uh, land portion which are denoted by red line from this red uh, from this red portion as you can see here from this portion only from this red portion only the rainwater is going to get deposit over here so for this station m all the rainwater from this from this red area are going to get deposited deposit over here so for this station m this particular red line which we have denoted is the catchment area so on, in order to look at the definition of catchment area so what does uh, so how can you define catchment area as the area of land where the water is stored after rainfall is known as catchment area or simply area of land draining into a stream or water course at a given location so area of land draining into a stream or water course at a given location so as i explained before for this station m all the uh, the rainwater rainwater from this location from this particular red location are going to get deposited over here so this red particular red, red portion is our catchment area ca for this station m but as we move a little bit downward so let's move at this point so what will be the catchment area for this portion as you can see here all the rainwater from this area from this area all this rainwater from this area so let me note it by red red line again all the all all the rainwater from this area are going to get deposited over here all the air, all this rainwater are going to get deposited over here so all this portion so as you can see here, all this portion is going to be our catchment area for this station m dash and as you move as we move uh, more down for let's say for this point over here which we call as m dash all this portion is going to be our catchment area all this portion is going to get our catchment area so catchment area simply means uh, simply means the area of land from which our rainwater gets deposited for that uh, specific point so for our uh, so for our point m all this portion is going to be our catchment area because all the rainwater or or our precipitate both our rainfall or snowfall is going to get uh, is going uh, is going to get deposited over here so for our station m all this land area all the all the rainfall of this uh, uh, area is going to get deposited over here so this is going to be our catchment area so from our word only catchment area means we have the word catch so all the all the portion which gets cast over here which gets cast over it's going to be our catchment area for our station m and as you move downward we are going to have our bigger st uh, bigger catchment area all this uh, since all the all the rainwater are all the rainwater of this land are going to get deposited over here so now we are going to talk next about water set so what is water set so as i talked before when the water falls over here water falls over here uh, the water gets divided is it's getting divided in two percent the rainfall the some of the rainfall is flowing in this direction while so, while some of the other rainfall is flowing in other direction so all these rainfall flowing in this direction are contributing for this river so where so it is so it falls in our catchment area but all these but all the rainwater which are flowing in this direction this direction are this direction are 
do not come under our catchment area because all this rainwater are not going to get deposited in our river A. So this specific line, so this specific line, so as you can see here, which we have denoted as red line. So this specific line, which uh, which separates our catchment area from other catchment area, is known as our watershed. So this red portion. So this red, this so, so this red boundary is called as a water set, or it is called as divide as well. So simply our water set or divide is simply our boundary line. So you know for definition for our uh, water set, what we have over here is our uh, water set is a catchment area is separated from its neighborhood areas by a ridge. By a ridge means our elevated ground called divide in the USA and the water uh, set in UK. So divide and water set both are the same terms. So simply our water set means. So as you can see here. All those rainwater which are flowing in this direction, in this direction, they might be uh, they might be getting deposited in some other river, some other river, uh, river B. So this is going to be catchment area. So this uh, particular area is going to be our catchment area for another river B. But uh, it's going to get river A, and this particular portion uh, at the right is our catchment area for our river A. So this particular boundary line, which is separating both of this catchment area, catchment area for river A and catchment area for river B, this particular boundary is known as our water set or divide water set or uh, divide uh, so as you can uh, simply see our catchment area simply means nothing more than the area of the land area of the land which water gets deposited at our certain uh, for our certain point so as you can see here as we move more downward our more downward as you can see here our catchment area is going to be our complete water set so as you can see here so uh, so as you can see here in this way as we move down to the river uh, at uh, this point as you can see here all the water from all this area from all this area are going to get uh, from all this watershed so our watershed right now is our this boundary and as you can see here denoted by this red line is our boundary and as you can see here when we move more downward our catchment area and watershed are exactly the same uh, are exactly the same so in this way uh, so so because of this reason as well watershed and catchment area uh, catchment area are used uh, simultaneously simultaneously so let me describe this one more again for our station m as you can see here we have this area of catchment area because because all this area of land uh, because all the rainwater or all the water water of this area gets deposed over it and as we move downward to our station m dash our catchment area is getting bigger because all the area of this land of all this uh, land are getting deposed over here and as we move to our as we move more downward all this water set which we need to buy a red line and our catchment area are exactly the same so water set and catchment area can be used simultaneously water set is also called as the divide line because as you can clearly see our water set uh, water set water set or divide line is doing the job of dividing our one catchment area from other catchment area so as uh, similarly in this portion as well uh, the, the water flowing in this area they are they might be deposited in some other river called as a river seed and it is going to be and this particular area is going to be our catchment area for another river C so as you can see here so this is us uh, so this is what simply our water state or catchment area means so let me uh, give our particular definition the area of land where the water is stored after rainfall is known as catchment area or area of land into a stream or water course at a at a given location area of land draining into a stream or water course at a given location so i have already explained that before and our catchment area is also called as drainage area or drainage basin so drainage area or drainage basin so catchment area is also called as drainage area and drainage basin and our catchment area is separated from its neighborhood areas by a ridge called divide in the usa and water set in the uk so i will explain this before now for our uh, now we uh, took our station m over here and if we look our uh, look out for our station m clearly so we can do this in uh, this way so this is our river a so this is our river a and we have its certain tribut uh, tributaries over all over here so our river a is flowing in this direction so certain tributaries and all this area so let me denote this by red so this boundary so this is our boundary so when we have certain precipitate what is going to happen over here we have certain precipitate all those rainwater are going to get stored in this area so in this river all this all this rainwater are going to flow into this are going to uh, are going to run off or are going to flow into this river uh, are going to flow in this uh, river so we have taken a certain station m and for this river uh, for this river a Oh, this is going to be our catchment area because all the rainwater rainwater flowing in this land uh, flowing 
because all the uh, all the rainwater of this area is going to get uh, uh, deposited uh, is is going to get uh, deposited over here it's going to get deposited or stored uh, in this particular river and this uh, and this is our boundary line this red line is our boundary line because uh, because outside of this boundary line the our rainfall is going to flow in other direction other direction and uh, this certain uh, and this certain area is going to be our catchment area from uh, let's say for some other river b so this is this boundary line is our water state or divide we have already written it down over here and this is our schematic schematic case of catchment uh, catchment of river uh, of river a of the river a at station m of river a at station m so hope this video was uh, helpful to you and if you like our content do subscribe to the channel and subscribe for more videos thank you